How's it going y'all? Ryan De La Garza here with a quick Desmos demo. And what we're going to look at here is how do I add oral admin supports or read questions for my students um, using Desmos. This can be used for, like I said, reading questions or even if you wanted to do some choral reading with your class, right, and have them read along with you, we can add audio clips. Now, Normally, Desmos doesn't have a format to add straight audio clips, but I have a quick workaround for you with some easy to follow steps that I'm going to show you right now so you can add that to your activity arsenal. So we have this question uh, and I want to talk about the graph to my students and I also want to read this aloud, right? So let's see how we can make that happen. On the first screen, I've got some instructions. So if you want to look at this with me, you can follow the link below to kind of jump in. It's not going to be a build along like I traditionally do because I'm going to be using some different technology pieces outside of Desmos and you can use whatever you're comfortable with or whatever you have available. So first thing I need to do is create an audio clip. Uh, this can be used, I'm going to use Screencastify here in this video, but you can use anything you want. So I have my screen that I want to read. I'm going to pull up my Screencastify Chrome extension, uh, and I'm just going to press record. Once I do that, it's going to give me my countdown, and then I can start reading. The graph shows the total cost compared to the number of tickets purchased. Determine the rate of change for this linear relationship. I hit pause, I end my recording, and Screencastify is going to pop up this. What I like about this is there's different options for download, and I can export the audio only. So I'm going to select that option to download what I just recorded as an MP3 file, right? So I'm going to come down to my bottom right, hit download, and now I've got that MP3 file set there that I can use in a second. Let's go back to that first screen. That first screen, my second step, I need to download this audio clip image. So here, I've set an image that you can use that's already set to a perfect height and width ratio, so it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the screen. Desmos, when you add a media component, it focuses on what the width of that image is, and it adjust the height accordingly. So if we make something really wide and not very tall, it's going to take up that whole column, but not give me the whole space uh, of kind of height and take up a ton of real estate. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. All right, let's go to step three. I go to oneimagevideo.com. So I'm going to open this website up and now I can add my image file and my video file. So I'm going to hit browse and both of these files are going to be in my downloads since I just added them in here. So I'm going to come straight to my download folder. Here we go. Got some, right? Come on. Let's go to my downloads. Oh, I'm here already. So I got my audio file. Yep, my audio PNG. And then let's go here to my video right here. Or my, excuse me, my audio file right there. So I got my image up top, I got my audio on the bottom, and then now I'm going to click upload. Gives me a video file right here that I can use. So I click download and it's going to pop down onto my download bar here. So now you see I took my PNG down at the bottom. I took my audio clip, my MP3, and I turned them into an MP4, which is my video file. So now if I come back and edit my second screen, I'm going to add a media component and I'm just going to click and drag and drop right there. And now that's going to add that video, which is now really my audio clip to Desmos. So check out what this looks like. So if I preview, look nice and small. I got that really wide image with a small, a short height, and that keeps it to that small kind of footprint on my screen. So it's not taking up a ton of space. So I can click, students can click this. The rate of change for this linear relationship. Boom, and it reads it to them right there. So once you have that media component, you can hide it, you can make it pop up with a button press. Um, you can do all sorts of different things from it there, but that's just what I wanted to show you how we can bring in audio clips of you actually reading to your students, giving your activities that personal touch, uh, and doing it with a small footprint and only a few uh, short steps. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy Desmosing.